On the 18th of April 2017, Reddit user Flip and Flop would create a post on the drug subreddit with the title, Finally got my hands on some Datura. How much should I take? The post reads as the following. Hi guys, I finally got some Datura to try out. I'm free tomorrow and I have the house to myself, so I'm really excited to try the effects of this interesting plant. I have around 60 seeds, some dried flowers and leaves. How much should I take for a nice first time trip? I was thinking of crushing up X number of seeds and making tea with them. Drink the tea and smoke a couple of leaves while the tea is starting to take effect. Now for those who don't know, Datura is a plant that when consumed causes a range of symptoms from respiratory depression to fever, delirium, hallucinations and psychosis. In some Native American groups it is said that Datura was used in spiritual rituals and was often associated with witchcraft or sorcery by their western counterparts. Its high toxicity and unpredictability have seen it become a popular choice of poison for suicide and murder in some parts of Europe and India. Many Redditors would mirror the same warnings and sentiments found online, but another user would post his detailed experience on Datura, saying, Well, I bought two Datura Inoxia plants from a local greenhouse and ate and smoked both of them over the course of about two weeks. I never noticed too many effects initially, dry eyes and mouth, hot flushed skin, rapid heartbeat, but I was 100% in a state of psychosis that whole time and for about two weeks after I stopped using it, like someone here said it's a delirium so I wasn't even aware of how totally effed up I was. My friends got increasingly worried about me and I finally broke down mentally. About a month later I got diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder and severe panic disorder with derealization and depersonalization. This user would go even further and create his own post, detailing the timeline of his experience, stating, Day 1, when I got home, I immediately stripped around 6 large leaves off the plant and brewed them into a tea. Taste wasn't too bad actually, sweet and slightly bitter. 30 minutes in, I feel my heart rate start to rise noticeably and my mouth and throat felt super dry and scratchy. A wave of panic came on so I decided to take a walk. 45 minutes in I was walking around town and everything was incredibly bright. Everything was bothering my eyes very badly and I was unsteady as I walked. 1.5 hours I was very dizzy and a bit drowsy so I went home and laid down. I was looking around my room trying to notice any trippiness but visuals were very weak if at all present and I fell asleep for the night. I believe I was hallucinating and totally effed at this point because a friend later told me that I had a long conversation with her while sitting on the front step of my house, chain smoking cigarette butts. Apparently I was not making any sense. Day 2 I woke up with a headache but not too much else. I was unhappy with the effects I got the night before so I figured I needed more. I stripped the rest of the leaves off the plant and made tea with the other 8. This is where my memory starts to go fuzzy as hell for a bit. I remember the effects were pretty similar to the night before except smoking provided a new feeling. Smoking the leaves seemed to enhance colours and produce a strange spiral effect to my vision. It was like things were being gently bent in towards a vortex in the centre of my field of vision. Day 3-5 to five for the next few days I took more and got similar results. In retrospect, I was straight up effed this whole time, and I just couldn't realise it at the time. Fully out there not making any sense and doing weird shit. Day 6, I got 350 heavenly blue morning glory seeds and chewed them down with a Datura tea made from about 4 leaves and a large flower. 2 hours in and I don't remember anything up to this point, but I am now laying in my bed sweating like crazy and attempting to hold on to my sanity. Moonlight was coming through my window, casting a shadow off the last plant I had on my dresser, onto my wall. I turned to the shadow and I heard a voice in my head, which I somehow knew was the plant. It was saying that I was seeing reality for the first time since early childhood. It said that children and animals are the only ones who see reality as it is, because they haven't been corrupted. I stayed like this for what seemed like eternity. But it was about an hour I think. I felt delirious and feverish, I managed to make it outside to try and get some air. 
I started talking to my friend, who later told me she was never there, about what the plant had told me. I remember being very scared and almost in tears trying to give her the message. I don't remember anything visual from this time, not a thing. I think I may have been asleep to be honest. The next thing I knew I was back in my bed and it was dark. I looked at my window and I noticed movement in the corner of the window which turned into a face. I turned on my light and it went away. I turned it off and it would be back. The silhouette of a man was trying to crawl in my open window and I kept turning my light on. He would disappear. Then I would turn it off and he would be back. Eventually I passed out somehow. For the next week or so I continued using Datura. I'm not sure why, probably because I was going insane. For months after I stopped using it, I experienced panic attacks all the time. I would feel like I was melting into nothing or dissolving out of existence. I would have to physically grab something to make me feel real. My eyes were also very blurry, and to this day I still have a weird blurred vision, yet have 2020 apparently. I now have a diagnosis of generalized anxiety disorder and severe panic disorder with depersonalization and derealization. These comments would do little to dissuade Flip and Flop, who replied, Yeah, I know, man, I've been reading about the effects for a couple of days now. It isn't trippy like hallucinogens, but it will make you delirious. Reading some of the stories about people talking to imaginary people and reading books that don't exist makes me kind of want to do it still. The flowers kind of look magical to me. Only five minutes later, Flip and Flop would post again, saying, I've crushed some seeds in my mortar and put them in a glass of hot water. I've added some lemon juice and sugar to mask the taste. I'll just have to roll my joint with the datura leaves and I'll be set to go. I've decided that I'll be sipping on the tea and slowly smoking the leaves until I feel that the effect is strong enough. After this comment, Flip and Flop would go dark for 12 hours before returning with the comment, Google.com, how normal again, stop now. Flip and Flop would then go silent for another 12 hours before commenting on a gaming subreddit with a gif of two mammoths fighting, saying, please, these big dog are fighting, nah, okay. And to this day, that would be the last we would hear from the user Flip and Flop. As is the case with most Reddit posts, it's normal to be skeptical of whether the user is genuine or not. First, we can see that Flip and Flop created their account on the same day they posted their thread. This really doesn't prove anything either way, because they probably don't want to post about taking drugs on their regular account if they have one, in fear of it being traced back to them. But in less than 30 minutes of posting this thread, they had gone from wanting to know how much they should take, to preparing and drinking tea. However, I'm not sure this really discredits Flip and Flop, because if what he said is true about researching them for a couple of days and having the house to himself for the next day, he probably had a good idea of the amount he wanted to take, and wanted to start taking it in the hopes the trip would end before anyone came home. It's even harder to judge his behaviour on Reddit after this because of Datura's unpredictability and the fact that very few people truly know what it's like to consume it. If you're anything like me, you may have heard the stories whispered around your high school about someone who knew someone who took a psychoactive once and became stuck in a trip. Our version was a guy who got stuck in a trip believing he was a milk carton and had to stay upright in fear of spilling his milk. But a small insight into how one might behave while stuck on a psychoactive trip can be found in this repost of this tape that was allegedly found on a park bench. Two months. Um, I uh, can't really go out. Been spending a 
lot of time in the basement. Um, I uh, I think it's wearing off. Uh, I don't really know uh, what to do uh, to make it wear off. Uh, just don't feel like I'm getting that center center feeling center back. Um, I think I boiled the roots right. I uh, did what it said in the book. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't feel like I'm ever going to come down. <laughs> and, uh, it's not cool. It's, uh, getting weird. It's definitely getting weird. Now, something like this could have happened to Flip Flop, where he became stuck in a trip and never returned to Reddit, but nothing can really be proved either way. If he wasn't just trolling and actually consumed Tatura, it's possible he either had a bad trip, got over it and didn't bother returning to Reddit to face the onslaught of I told you so's, or completely forgot he even made the account in the first place. But there's also the possibility he became stuck in some long-lasting trip where he is now suffering the long-term effects. Unfortunately, as is the case with a lot of these Reddit posts, we will never know for certain what happened to Flip and Flop.